Hello and welcome to The Maker Inside. I'm Seth Hunter from Intel Labs. Hi everybody, I'm Carlos. I'm with Intel Labs and the Open Design Team with Seth. So I have a background as a maker. I'm from the MIT Media Lab and I used to use the Arduino uh, environment a lot and also the Raspberry Pi. So I was very excited to see that Galileo came out with a board that was compatible with the Arduino environment. Yeah, I'm a robotics engineer myself and Galileo boards are fantastic to build robots. <laughs> yeah, so we thought we would start by just giving a tour of the board. What the Galileo board is, is um, it's a rapid prototyping environment that combines an Intel Quark processor, Linux, and the Arduino programming environment. Yeah, we're really excited because th this board is compatible with a lot of uh, Arduino shields out there in the market. And as you can see down here, we have all the pins, all the inputs, and all the outputs. And it allows you to input all sorts of, you know, plug in all sorts of sensors like temperature sensor, distance, uh, even a camera. Um, on the output side, you can plug in motors, LEDs, lights, so you can control all sorts of really fun stuff. So this little shiny thing here is the Intel Quark processor, and this is what's running both the Arduino environment and the Linux environment, which means that you can call system commands when you're from Arduino sketches that'll run Linux processes, and then you can also read files in um, from the Arduino environment that Linux produces. Now for storage, we have actually two different ways. Uh, we have an eight megabyte flash uh, chip that's on board, and we also have a micro SD card that actually can host the card up to 32 gigabytes. Now what's interesting is that we have a really tiny version of Linux that can fit on the flash, and that allows you to program the board fully with uh, the Arduino IDE. We also have a, a, an extended version of Linux that can actually fit in the SD card, and when you plug it in, you have access to Wi-Fi, you have access to um, let's see, uh, Python, mm -hmm. you have access to Node.js, you have access to all sorts of uh, like OpenCV, all sorts of really interesting APIs to, to experiment and prototype with. So this is what made me really excited when I um, got the Galileo board, because I didn't realize at first that it had all these software capabilities. So I've been playing with Node.js to scrub things on the web or access web APIs. Uh, I've, we've been using um, Linux utilities from BusyBox to host a web server. And you can do things like run OpenCV um, to have like a security camera or something. So there's a lot that you can do uh, with it just right out of the box once you get the uh, SD card loaded with the full version of Linux. Intel chips have a real-time clock on board. So if you see here in the, down the board, we have a couple of little pins where you can plug in a cell battery. That would allow you to keep track of time even though it, the board is not plugged in. Yeah, it also has a USB expansion host here. So you can plug in like a, a USB port and plug in keyboards, mice, game controllers, anything you have from your garage from an old laptop. Um, and this is great because you can start to mi mix and match different peripherals that you might have um, that are compatible with the Linux environment. On top of that, we also have a um, mini PCI Express port. It allows you to plug in, in our case, a, a Wi-Fi card. You also have access to uh, GSM uh, cell phone cards. And there are a bunch of different other uh, cards out there in the market you can use. Yeah, so that's exciting. So you could have the Galileo um, do Bluetooth, wireless, or even uh, GSM connection so that it, can, it could be out there in the middle of the woods with a solar panel or something like that. There's three ways to communicate with the board. The first way is with the USB client here. And so if you're in the Arduino IDE, you can download your sketches um, through that USB client. This is not an audio jack. This is actually a serial debugging port. So you can plug it into things like PuTTY and Windows um, to see what's happening on the Linux console. And then there's a standard Ethernet port. Um, so you can plug a Cat5 cable into that, plug it into a, a local area network, or directly to the internet. And what, what we're really excited about with this board is that it combines the power of Linux with the ease of prototyping that the Arduino environment provides. Thank you so much for watching. We're excited to see what you make with this board. This is the first of many boards, so I think the Intel community will um, get stronger and stronger, and you'll see a lot more really interesting prototypes coming out.